Well, the two charges are consistent with the way uh, Samantha Higgins's body was found a few days ago. Uh, the charge sheet would suggest that uh, prosecutors believe they have enough, enough evidence to charge uh, Fontanelli with a premeditated murder here, and they believe it happened in Montreal. So if you read uh, the charge sheet, it seems like prosecutors believe Fontanelli uh, killed his fiance before her body was moved to uh, Hinchinbrook, which is about 75 kilometers from her home here in Montreal. And of course, her body was found dismembered under a bridge in Hinchinbrook. Uh, so the charges would perhaps suggest that uh, investigators and prosecutors believe that Fontanelli was involved in, in that uh, as well. Fontanelli remains behind bars for the time being and a spokesman for the Crown Prosecutor's Office says uh, he, the accused will remain behind bars unless of course he asks for bail given that uh, he is uh, now charged with first degree murder. So what more do we know about Nick Fontanelli other than he's, you know, he's reasonably young, he's 22, and that um, he was connected to this woman? They were high school sweethearts. They'd been together for seven years. Um, and just last week after uh, Samantha went missing, uh, Fontanelli spoke with CBC. He said he just wants uh, her back. He loves her, he said. And he said he hadn't told their two children that uh, mommy had gone missing because he was still convinced at that time, he told us, that she would be found. I should also mention CBC News has learned Fontanelli uh, has been in court before. In 2013, he pleaded guilty to charges of assault, uh, conspiracy, theft, as well as firearms charges, but there's no suggestion that uh, those charges have any ties to uh, today's charges. Uh, this all obviously very, very difficult for the family who's known Fontanelli for uh, seven years or so, plus given the fact that tomorrow is the fourth birthday of the couple's eldest child.